Hello, this is QJ Martin here with Curated Awesome. Today I'm going to be showing off a few pins that I got from Box Lunch the other day. Now these pins arrived when I was in the middle of being fairly sick. Now it was a head cold, not COVID. I got tested and it turned out to definitely not be COVID. But the point is I was going to open the package in a video and pull them out live, but I was not able to because I could barely speak. So. Today we're just going to take a look at everything I bought. Now the other day on Reddit I saw a post from a couple different users who were giving away codes that were about to expire. And so I took a look at the different websites and the pins that were available and I settled on Box Lunch. And these are the first pins I've ever gotten from the Box Lunch website. And they came in a plastic bag which was so-so. I don't remember there being much if any wrapping on the fake pins themselves. But thankfully they were all in good shape so there was no real problem with any of them. Now three of these pins are box lunch exclusives. First we have this two pack, Carl and Russell, Fig Pin 458 and Fig Pin 459. Now these were part of the Alien Remix collection from Pixar. They became available for purchase on October 14th of last year, 2020, and they were released in November of 2020. These ones are a variant of fig pins number 413, which is the Russell fig pin, and 414, which is the Carl fig pin. Now I have to say that it messes with my OCD that the classic fig pins are Russell first and Carl second, and these box lunch exclusives are Carl first and Russell second, but I'll do my best to get over that. These fake pins, 458 and 459, are a limited edition of 2,000 pieces, and you can see they are also a glitter variant, with the glitter encompassing the majority of the pin, minus perhaps the eyes. Now one thing I'll say about Box Lunch, this is the only vendor that puts this number of stickers on each of their products, along with labels on the plastic. I haven't had any other pins come in from anyone else who has that type of stuff going on there, but it's okay. They're on the back, you can hardly see them, so hopefully that won't bother me too much either. Now one thing I'll say when trying to get them out, the cardboard is attached to each of the pins. So if you tried to pull on one of them without doing the exact same movement with the other one, it will tear a little bit. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. Now, looking at the fig pin app, I've added both of these fig pins to my collection. The Carl pin number 458 is a first edition lot A pin, of course, because it's a 2000 exclusive. Now, this is interestingly of 2016 pieces. Perhaps they included the AP pins as part of the count for some reason or another, or they just don't know how to count to 2000. Now this one is pin number 1863. It's not particularly high on any of the stats. I was the 261st person to adopt it, which is not, not bad, not amazing, but that gives me a fig pin power of 1836, along with my boost and my cohort bonus. And then Russell, number 459. Now this one is also a first edition lot A pin out of 2016 pieces. This one is number 1225. Again, not amazing. I was the 260th person to unlock it, which if you look at the fake pins and compare them, that's only a difference of one position. So there's been one person out of 261 that unlocked Carl without unlocking Russell. Um, again, cohort bonus, one boost. This fig pin is slightly better than the last one, being at 2,196 points. Now the other box lunch exclusive fig pin I got was this one, the child number 511. This pin was part of the Mando Mondays promotion that came out in the fall of last year. Now very interestingly, this is part of a promotion that was heavily advertised on StarWars.com. But, no fake pins from the Mandalorian series have ever even been mentioned in an article on StarWars.com. The only articles they ever mentioned fake pins in were the first one of Luke on the Tauntaun and the Bad Batch which was made available for sale quite recently. 
I'm not sure why they haven't advertised any of the Clone Wars or the Mandalorian fig pins, but they are part of that same promotion of Mando Mondays. So this fig pin right here is the only one from that promotion that is an exclusive. It is a box lunch exclusive, of course. Again, the same uh, stickers and details on the bag that I haven't seen with any other retailer. And if we take a look at the app, I've added this one. It actually was slightly lower in points than Carl. This is an exclusive, but it is an exclusive of 2,988. So obviously the box lunch people don't know how to round to an even 3,000. <laughs> I was the 441st person to adopt it, which makes sense. It's been out for a while, and the child is a very popular character, so of course there's going to be a lot of people interested in it. So along with a cohort and two boosts, that puts my points at 2,035. Now my final fig pin from this haul is not actually a box lunch exclusive, but when I saw this pin I knew I just had to get it because it's one of the awesomest pins from the Black Widow release. Now these pins were advertised on the fig pin website as coming out in May of 2020. I'm not entirely sure how that was affected by COVID or by the delayed release of Black Widow. But this fig pin is part of a line including Black Widow. Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that name. Red Guardian. And Taskmaster. Now this one is not an exclusive in any way. It is a fig pin classic. Same stuff on the back again. But it is, as you can see, $14.90. That's the original price that they are asking for it. So. That fig pin number 401, which is a much earlier lineup than any of the other pins I have from this haul. Now the interesting thing about this pin is it actually has the second highest power level out of any pin on my app. So if we go to the sort by section, go to fig pin power, you can see that this fig pin is second only to my storm fig pins in power. Now this is a fig pin classic. So the fact that it has such a high score really amazed me, and it definitely makes this entire haul worth it. It's a first edition Lot C pin. It's out of 972. Now if we click on the pin, we see the first edition Lot A was 2,250. Lot B was 108. Lot C was 972. And there's also been a second edition of 900. But what that means is that I got full points for it being a first edition. I got extremely high points for it only being 179 out of 972. And I was the 15th person to unlock this pin so I got very high points on that. Another 50 points along with a boost. And that gives my fig pin the power of 4029. So that's my haul, Box Lunch Exclusives number 458 and 459, the glitter variants of Carl and Russell. Box Lunch Exclusive number 511, the child with a frog in his mouth, of course. And the Fig Pin Classic 401, which is the Red Guardian from the upcoming Black Widow movie. Have you ever ordered any fig pins from Box Lunch? If so, leave a comment below telling me how your experience was and which pin you got. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up or a comment, letting me know what you think of it, what could be improved, etc. And if you would like to see more videos in the future, please press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon next to it so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and as always, have an awesome day.